This is my second load. So it has finished washing. So the whites have washed like three times. I've already. Hi guys, hi! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Empire. If you're new here, hi. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and loving my content. Hey, you guys might think that I always put coco melon for my baby to wash, but that's not the case. I put it especially when I want to do like maybe hold my camera and just do something. Um, when I'm busy so that it distracts him because yeah anyway in today's video and also this is the only corner in my house that has perfect lighting so in today's video I'm going to do an updated laundry routine for you guys so that is basically what you're going to do today show you uh, my updated laundry routine babies in the background so don't mind it uh yeah so if you're going to like actually the reason why I'm shooting this updated laundry routine is because the last video that I did, uh, my laundry routine has gotten a lot of engagement. I think it's it's up to a thousand and something, like 1.7 thousand views. It has a lot of comments, like 36 and above. And I've been responding to those comments every day. So if you haven't checked that video, I'm going to put it up somewhere here so that you guys can click it and go and check it. If you have a washing machine and you do not have... Uh, direct supply of water and you have an automatic machine that video will be so helpful for you don't let your machine just sit in the house and uh, do nothing i uh, don't let it just to waste away if you don't have water check out check out that machine so for today i already put water in the house it's been a few months since i connected water into the house and it has been amazing using the washing machine so that's what i want to share with you guys how you can use this machine to its maximum capacity and then now I'll sit down and give you do's, pros and cons, do's and don'ts later on. But today is just laundry. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like it, comment down below. Don't forget to comment. Wow, my hair is bad. Don't mind that. Um, we'll just deal with this when we deal with it. So um, yeah, give it a thumbs up if you like it. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. So guys, here's my machine. I have shared this before. It is the Mica storm wash 8 kg automatic machine it has direct water i did connect water into the house yes that is an improvement so we have direct water supplies this comes with the machine when you buy it that you have to find a fundi to fix it for you so it does come with the pipes uh it has two pipes okay it has the cold and uh, the hot water option. Don't mind here, there's dirty laundry inside, but the, that's how the drum looks like. And then it has a lint filter. I've done this before. I've done this video before. It has a lint filter here where all the dirt goes in when you're washing your clothes. Yes, that's where all the dirt goes in. And you have to wash it after every laundry so that it doesn't smell all that some kind of stuff it closes slowly perfectly what else should i let you know about it that is basically how the machine is you connect it to power oh power you connect it to power and you have all these functions so you have the start and pause button button then you have the mode of wash if you want it to wash normal mix soft strong heavy like how heavy you want it to spin and then you have sock water recycle water cycle wash all those things you can read your manual and then you have this it also comes with the manual to show you how much water it consumes per each level so for this model which is the model um focus for this model which is the 8 kg 350 08 w yeah uh level one to two consumes 18 liters to 22 liters okay and then level two to three consumes uh no i mean level three to four consumes 28 liters 33 liters then level five and six consumes 45 49 then level 7 consumes 52, 58. Now, that is the amount of water it will consume in each and every wash. Like, not washing, rinsing, and no. Like washing 25 to 30 if you choose 1 to 2. Uh, rinsing 
25 to 30 again rinsing again 25 to 30 again uh, and then now you spin so it depends on how many times you will rinse so that is the amount of water it's going to consume so it does consume quite a lot of water so it's no joke me I think that's a lot of water for somebody who thinks it's not a lot that's a lot of water so yeah so i start by sorting out clothes i sort out clothes i check all the pockets if you have pockets you check them out i put different colors all together uh and then i just um, put the whites in the machine and sort them in the machine normally i would sort them in the machine uh because i do my laundry at night so but today i want to do my laundry during the day so what will happen is i'm going to wash i'm going to soak the whites separately in like a bucket and then um i am going to wash the blacks and then i'll come back to the whites later and then also when you're doing laundry please separate your beddings the big things separate them from smaller stuff because they don't get clean enough so let me just sort them out and then I'll show you guys how I sorted them out and then now I'll show you how it washes. It's very dirty. Another thing, uh, since my baby is one year now, I don't really mind mixing his clothes with ours, but what I do is that I mix his clothes with the white ones, with our white clothes, because most of our white clothes are delicate, so i don't just mix with all other clothes i mix them with white ones uh the ones that are delicate and you see this trouser <laughs> it's very dirty very very dirty if you can see the pockets this is more of a white spot <coughs> these are some of the zayas at that i'm going to shoot a video about the pros and the cons of having a washing machine do's and don'ts so stick around for that also it's coming soon because i have a lot i need to share uh i hope i'll remember to show you all these white clothes once i'm done uh, once they're clean look at this It's really dirty. I feel like the table is so I need to soak that also. So let me sort out all the clothes and then that's dirty. And then I am going to come back and show you once I start washing. This is the main reason why I need soaking. Can you see these socks? These are Zaya socks. <laughs> so they need to be soaked up yeah, first. You cannot just go straight and wash them. So they want to be clean. So I need to soak this. Something I wanted to bring to your attention is when you are on your um when you are washing beddings, don't mix them with uh, outfits that are like small small pieces of outfits like when you're washing benches don't mix them with things like socks or small vests or t-shirts like that because they won't as it angara like the bedsheets will just take up a lot of space and they will not wash the small outfits so it's better you wash the bedsheets alone or you wash them with clothes that are bigger like maybe trousers uh, yeah like trousers in your si chafu or whatever but maybe you wash the blankets separately from other outfits, from the small, small outfits. So, yeah. But I'm going to soak the white bed sheets with the white clothes so that I save on soap and water also. And then when I am going to wash them, I'm going to select them and wash them separately. But for soaking, I'll just soak all of them together. So, I have a basin here full of water. And I soak all the clothes that are white including the white school socks and I told you nowadays I don't separate my baby's outfit I just use um, like maybe Dettol and I just wash them with delicate stuff like these towels 
and maybe our t-shirts yeah t-shirts mostly our white t-shirts i don't wash them with trousers because to save water i will explain that as we go on so as those that is soaking the whites are soaking now let's wash the let's start washing the colored ones so i have okay let me move back i have um separated the colored ones from the white this video is, these are the colored ones these are the uniforms i'm going to start washing these ones because these ones don't need a lot of scrubbing they're not that dirty and i've sorted all the pockets and all that so yeah. let me bring you guys closer i am using normal detergent so somebody told me in the comment section of the last video that normal detergent ruins the machine but then again, um, I'm just using what I can afford because mostly these washing, wash, washing, these washing machines for the for the machines, uh, washing powders are usually so expensive. Like let's say like the Tide Pods, they are going for three hundred to four thousand, three thousand, four thousand shillings. Hey, I'm not, I can't afford that right now. And even the the washing machines, you find that <laughs> the washing machine powders, you find that um, three kgs goes for. Uh, close to maybe 800 and above uh, I'm not in a position to do that right now but this is just I think aerial or prasil so yeah this is what I'm going to use so the washing machine has a soap uh, soap dispenser in it i you've seen that when I was doing that whole uh, when I was showing you the machine but the thing is I don't put soap there I put soap directly into the clothes. Once I put the clothes in the bucket, I just put soap in it. Like that. And then I open the water. Why? Because when you put soap in the dish in the dispenser, this machine, the first water that comes into the machine goes under the tank. That is the most annoying thing that annoys me with this machine. So all the soap that is going to be washed in the um, all the soap that cause cause where water where water is passing through is where the soap is the soap is so it's water passes through so that it can wash the soap into the washing machine i don't know if that is making sense so when it does that it takes all that water the first water that will get into the washing machine goes down into the tank like the first almost 20 liters of water goes down into the machine or 10 liters it goes down so all the soap will go down so once the water is filled with the amount of water that you need for it to start washing it is clean water with no soap so that is something i it annoys me so i decided let me just be putting the soap manually and then now i put the water okay i don't know the first water that gets into the washing machine always goes like underground tank it's like it has an underground tank when i'm draining i will explain better because that's when like the whole uh, annoying situation starts so if you put the soap into the dish into the soap dish dispenser the water is going to run through it and it's going to go under the the the, the what the washing machine into the other tank so the amount of soap that you're going to have on your clothes is not going to be enough to wash your clothes Sour. so I just put on top and then I just let water run through so the soap will just remain on top until the water is filled up so then it starts spinning let me show you what i'm saying so now i turn off the water i turn on the water sorry and then you see now that's the soap i put there that's the first load i want to wash that is soap i put on top so what i meant to say is if i put water if i put soap in this thing here here when the water comes in it's going to wash the soap into the washing machine it's going to go under the tank i hope you guys know what i was trying to say <laughs> so now we switch it on okay uh cold obviously strong and then okay this is going to do the whole process it's going to soak it's going to wash once 
you guys can see because these are not dirty clothes I'm going to let it do the whole selection for me so it's going to soak it's going to wash it's going to rinse and it's going to spin the amount of clothes that I have inside there are not too many so the water selection will be let's say maybe a five six oh, why is it zooming out it's going to be a five six and then I'm going to press play so can you guys see that water because I can't open it so it's it's passing through the water the soap dish dispenser so now if you check it's just going to go down it's just going down so it's not washing the soap bad until the clothes are full in the tank so once the water is at the amount that I've selected it will stop and it will start spinning then I'll show you so once the water is almost full almost at the level at which I had selected it will start soaking okay because here it will show soaking so it spins see I still have the soap on top so now can you see how clean that water is now the soap is still on, the, on top of the clothes but now when it starts soaking it's when now the um, <clears throat> the soap will get dissolved into the outfit and it will not go into the under tank mm, what did I want to say so the water will stop when it's like in Fikisha, the amount, the level at which it's supposed to. Okay. And then now it will soak and soak. See, it has stopped. So now it will start soaking. That is soaking now. And then it will stop. And then spin and then stop. Spin and then stop. So this is the amount of time that I have to wash all these clothes. This is like 74 minutes. That is an hour plus. <laughs> Because it's going to soak, it's going to wash, and then it's going to spin, to rinse twice, and then spin. Alright, so in that time I can be doing something else. You see I still have the soap. But if we, if I had put soap in, in the, um, this dispenser, this water will be super clean without foam. That's what I mean. Mm. If I remember, I'll put this detergent softener here. But I always forget. <laughs> how to read this meter unit but that is where it is when I start washing I don't know if it's 16.7 or 6.7 around 6.6 .6 there because it's not yet at 7 it's not yet at and it's not past 6 yes, so I'll write it down on the screen how many units it is and how many units it will be once I'm done washing usually I would soak this overnight uh, but yesterday I was just so tired. Either overnight or I soak them like right now and wash them in the middle of at night. But by the time I'm done washing, because I only have three loads. I only have this one, this one, and the one that is in the washing machine. Today I don't have a lot of clothes. So by the time this one and that one is done, I, th I think this will have soaked enough. Like two, three hours will be enough. So, yeah. And then also I want to show you guys. So now you hear the washing machine now is silent. It's not doing anything. It's going to be silent for a few minutes and it's going to start again and then soak and then yeah, through the process. So I'll, that's what how it starts. The main reason why I'm doing this video is for the purpose of the water and how to drain it and how to and all this time while it's washing, this is where the pipe, the drainage pipe is. Because if you put this drainage pipe down on the floor, it is going to flow. All the water is going to flow. That is the system that this machine doesn't have. It doesn't have a locking system for the drainage pipe. The only way it locks is if this drainage pipe is in that level. Or if, if I had a nail, I just put it here because it's full of water. If I had a nail, I put it like somewhere there, all right? And then it, it will wash. Initially, I'm supposed to have an extension pipe, okay? Because I do not have a drainage area or a washing area, I'm supposed to have an extension pipe that I've been looking for and I can't find it. So I'm supposed to have an extended pipe to put here and then um, put a nail here. Because somebody told me when I'm washing, this pipe shouldn't be on the washing machine. Like it shouldn't be there where it is right now. I don't know the reason why. So I'm supposed to have an extended pipe either the same as this one or the kawaida pipe so i'm still looking for that pipe the one that would fit this hole right here and then have a nail here all right have a nail here and hang this here like assume that is the nail 
hang that there and then now the extended pipe will come from here all the way outside so that it can drain the water for me so what that does is that when the pipe is here it will not the water will not flow when it's washing okay even if i have that drainage pipe all right so when i am um, no i think i'll explain that when it's time for it to start draining so i just keep it there for the time being and then it will wash and then i'll explain that a bit later on and then i have this rubber shoes this here they're super dirty okay so nowadays i don't use brush to wash my rubber shoes by the way if you have canvas um is your washing machine they, it will wash them very clean and uh, it won't have stains when it's drying because you will spin them so these ones i want to soak them also uh, in water with soap and then when it's time to wash i will wash them in the washing machine so clothes like this that I, i'm not sure whether it's in a rangi because it's um it's a yellow shirt i'm actually supposed to put it with these clothes that are here because they are colored so let me just do that so i pause it all right and then i put this in because they are colored so there's no effect and then i press play and then it will continue from where it stopped good thing even if electricity cuts off Nazipote, when it comes back, it will resume from where it was. That is something I love about it. So I'm going to soak these ones also. These ones are already soaked. I think I should soak that bag also because I also wash the bag in the washing machine. The only type of bag that should not wash in a washing machine is the one that has like a leather on top. Even shoes that have leather and crocs, don't wash them in the washing machine. I think that is a video that I should do separately, things you should and shouldn't do. This is just an updated laundry routine. So, so now you can hear that sound. It's signaling that it has finished washing. So it wants to rinse. Okay. So now when it starts to do like that, is the moment now I'll put this pipe on the floor. Reason being, it will unlock. You hear? So it will unlock and then the water will splash all over and the water will go inside. And I don't want to do that. But if I had put it like here on a nail here, and then it splashes out it should have been fine but now you see i have this door here i cannot do that so i have to put this pipe down on the floor and you can see the water that is coming out is super clean that water is clean that is the first water that goes under the tank it is very clean you'll see how when any mob especially when you're rinsing when you're rinsing it just gives you i don't know if it's anxiety or i don't know because it's usually cleaner than this when it's rinsing so you can see that water is clean and it's still getting ready to that sound it's making that that sound is meant to what is it called to signal that it has finished washing now it's about to start now you'll hear a certain sound that it will make that sound so now it has opened it has opened the pipe so you see now then amount of uh speed the water is coming out with the way the pipe is open all right that's why i was saying i need an extra pipe that i can put here so that i can just hang it on a nail and then i don't have to put this on the floor so the other pipe will just spew the water out but since i don't have a pipe yet i just put it here and i let it drain through the door it goes outside like that all right um if you have a bathroom fine i don't have a washing area so that's what i just use i'll just it, i'll just sweep it out later but now it's it's now it's getting rid of the water that it has used to wash and you can see it's clean you can use this water to let's say wash shoes or wash the house but this is not even when it's rinsing now it's when the whole stress comes in because it gets cleaner than this when it's rinsing the water is usually very clean you can use it to wash again but now that process of putting it in the bucket to return it in the washing machine is just so hectic so i just let it we only get to leave once anyway so i just let it flow so it's going to flow like that and then this is what is happening in the machine my health is in a mess right now this is what is happening inside the machine so now it's signaling that it wants to rinse 
so it will spin out all the water it has used to wash the clothes and now you see now it starts to spin out the soapy water is coming out sasa maji sabuni inataka kutoka when it spins the water it has used to wash so it has drained like all the water i can't open this because it will go off and i don't want it to go off i want it to just continue who selected the water level to 78 i think i put it to 56 Anyway, so that is clean. I need to throw away that diaper, but it's laundry, so everything is everywhere. House is dirty, so now it's spinning. You hear that sound? Now it's spinning. Now you see. Now is when the soapy water is coming out of the clothes. So it will spin, and then it will rinse. So I'll show you once it stops spinning. So it will completely spin the soap water out of the clothes and then now it will automatically add in water for cleaning. This video is going to be very long but not so long because this is the process that I wanted to show you and I'm showing it to you once and that's it. So So now it's spinning. It just spins like no like how it normally would spin if it, if you're going to hang the clothes like if you're done washing. So it spins completely that even if you take them out the clothes are still the clothes are like almost dry. But then now because it it has to rinse because it's sensing here it's supposed to rinse. Once it's done spinning, the water will automatically it will automatically open the water to get into the washing machine to spin it. But I have to select this water level again. Because this is too high for the amount of clothes that I have inside here. Yeah. I selected five six. I don't know what happened, but this seven eight is too much. Seven eight is like when the tank is the, the tank is full, and the tank gets filled up with fifty six liters of water. So now it's almost done spinning. So now it has stopped. So now it's the machine will signal that it has to let in. Can you hear that? Now it's letting in the water for rinsing. The thing is if I leave this pipe here on the floor that water that is getting into the machine will automatically just come out and that is something we're not you see it's coming out so we can't do that that's the reason why I put it back here because I don't have that pipe but I have that if I had that pipe I would just place this here and then leave the pipe then it would in flow because for it to flow it has to be pushed out all right but if you place it on the ground it will just flow uh directly so the disadvantage of that is um if you're not in the house you cannot do this laundry if you don't have that pipe because right now i have to be here to be able to put the pipe down once it's done rinsing and put it back once it's done it's done draining i hope you guys can understand me that is the one disadvantage so i'm really working to getting a pipe um There's a lady who has the exact same machine she did this review a long time ago. I'm going to link her channel here. Her name is Crystal Olisa. She has a very detailed video on how we can do this. Actually, this water level is not where I want it to be. Yeah, that is where I want it to be. Yes, so she has that. So that is the only disadvantage with the draining scenario i've not tried there are some methods they have explained here on the manual that i've not yet tried to you know, this thing is is not doesn't have light so there's a method they've explained here on this manual like how to place your draining draining yes how to place your draining hose i've not tried these methods but the one with the pipe is the one that would work for me that would work for me better so if you can get yourself a pipe if you especially even if you have a washing area you cannot put this pipe on the floor you have to get an extension or place it somewhere like here and then maybe now if you don't have like the door you can just let the water spew out when it once it starts spinning but if you don't if you have a door like me or a barrier or somewhere that water shouldn't go to you need to get a pipe i need to get a pipe because it's also ruining my door so i need to get a pipe and just which I'll do that soon. Once I do that I will update you guys. So now it will put water here and rinse. The rinsing effect of it is like spinning so it's it's like washing so it will be like 
you like it's washing like that and then once it's done it does that for like maybe a minute or two once it's done it spins again and then it comes out you see how clean that water is i don't know if you guys can see but it's clean and it's going to be cleaner once it's drained out so yeah so that's how it spins that is the spinning effect like that is the rinsing effect this water is so clean that these clothes i will spin them once can you guys see that I will spin these ones because it is clean. I'm actually going to spin it once. I wouldn't spin this again. Let me just switch it off and we see. If I open it, it's going to make that sound. Can you guys see how clean this water is? And these clothes are not so many. So at this point, I don't see the need of, the need of rinsing it twice. Alright? It's not soapy. It doesn't have soap. I will even recycle this water and use it to do something else. Alright? So it's all about you weighing. If you if you are around the house, just weigh. Akuna jakwaribu maji. There's no way... There's no way I will rinse these clothes twice and they're not dirty. Put it together. So, I'm just going to let it continue. And then when, when... So that signals I have to put the pipe down on the floor. Because if I don't, the water will go all the way back there. And I don't want it to go back there. <sighs> the hassles of living in a small house... <laughs> but uh we thank god we thank god this is where we are and we thank god for it so you just have to make do with whatever situation you have whatever uh what life throws at you is what you have to work with so i'm not complaining i'm fine with how my life is at the moment if it improves i'll be even more grateful but i'm not complaining that is i'm digressing i'll just put this down on the floor and then you'll notice how clean this water is so this is how clean the water is so i wouldn't like rinse them again I feel bad wasting this water because it is very clean, but it is what it is. I'm not going to put it in the bucket and then start washing. Okay, if you have strength, you can put it in the bucket and use it to wash the next load that is coming. But I'm done using my strength and manual work for that, so yeah. So it's spinning, but I don't want to rinse them again because that water was clean. That signifies that the clothes are clean. So I still have 19 minutes left, which is for the second rinse. And this last spin so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to switch it off so that it doesn't add water in or rather i will just uh, turn off the tap and then it will make a sound to let me know that it needs water and i've not added water so i'm just going to yeah, switch it off here so now it is finished so now you can hear that sound it's making it means it needs water added there but i don't want to do that so i'm just going to switch it off and then take off the clothes outside yes this is my second load this is the one that this has a few trousers and a few bed sheets because i cannot wash them separately i will waste a lot of water because i only have like three three trousers and maybe two bed sheets that do not require to be super super they will be clean anyway and the shoes so all the dirty shoes there if you want to judge me it's fine i don't have that wire mesh thing not wire mesh that mesh bag to wash the shoes in but normally it works just fine so i don't really mind so i have two three pairs of shoes here that i need to wash including baby's shoes and these rubbers the last time i washed these rubbers they were not this dirty so i want to see if today they'll get clean because they look super dirty if they don't i'll have to soak them in a jig later on so i'm going to wash this i've already shown you the whole process i also need to put like for the detergent the softener i always put it here sometimes i forgot today so i put that when it's rinsing so now let's try and wash and see so i'm going to switch it on again select strong i like using strong then it will do the whole process of soaking and washing the water level at this point because the nini is full it's going to be seven eight the pipe is back here and then now we start okay i need to put on the tap hmm? baby where are you going not going outside 
Beep beep. Beep beep. Then now, then we put the water in there. The ones that I've washed, here they are. They're really clean, by the way, and they're super dry. So, and they were not so dirty even. So, I've only spinned them once. You see that? They're clean. So, I've only rinsed them once because I didn't see the need of rinsing them again because the water would have just been wasted. So, let's finish and see how that is going to be. I've already shown you how I do the whole process. The only different thing that I'm going to do is when I'm washing the whites, which I'm going to show you. So, but these other ones, I just do the same process. The blacks and the colored ones is the same process. But for the whites, the process is a bit different. I'll show you how. So, I finished washing this. Now it's rinsing. This is the first rinse. Uh, the water is still not that bad. It's still clean, but with these ones, I have to rinse them twice. Otherwise, if I don't, they're going to come out with lint. I don't know why it does that. This is the shoe. Okay, now going to see. Let me rinse and then you see. This bag was really dirty. I don't think we are going But we will see once we spin. So, let us rinse the first rinse. And you guys will see that the water is clean. Look at that. So what I do with this water, <coughs> I put some of it in the bucket. So then you have to wash. I have shoes that I need to wash. See how clean that water is. I'm going to use this water to clean the house, wipe surfaces, and all that. Because it's not dirty. Wash shoes that I have to wash that can't be washed in the machine. That's what I do. That is the one disadvantage. That is the one thing I don't like about this whole machine scenario. But this is the water. See how clean that is. See how clean that is. That is the first rinse. That is the one thing that annoys me with this whole. Why is the water going inside the house today? Clean water. You can use this water to do a lot of things. I will use it to wash the veranda, I will use it to scrub here, I will use it to wash the house, such kind of stuff. So it has finished washing. Then you guys can see the bag is much cleaner than it was. So let me take off these ones. Not see the shoe because if it's not clean, I'm going to have to wash it again. These ones are even dry. Let me take them off and then I show you. So the shoes here they are. They're clean. Yes. They are clean. I forgot to remove the inner sole. Please always remove the inner sole. It's your show. Come out your shine a brush with taka. These ones. Those are clean. So I do not have. They are clean now. So I want to wash now the whites. Because I'm done washing the blacks. They're right over there. Yeah. They want me to hang them. So yeah. Now, when it comes to whites, I do not select like the way I selected for the other ones. When it comes to white, I select strong, then I select to wash only. Only? Because I want it to wash, then I select the water level. So I select to wash only because I want them to be washed a couple of times. It's not because they are dirty. It's not like the other ones. The other ones, one, one, 
the other ones the amount of time i select for washing is usually enough because they're not so many and uh, i mean they're not so dirty and most of them are blacks and colored and they're not so dirty but for the whites and the baby clothes i wash them like three times so i'm going to select wash and then i let it wash the water will enter then it will wash then once it stops i select wash again then it washes then it's a, i select stop then i wash like that so yeah that's what i do with the whites so the whites have washed like three times i've already selected the wash the wash uh, function three times so now i want to select the rinse and spin so you just turn it on select strong again then don't select wash so we don't select rinse and spin rinse two times and once okay then select the water level to there then press play so once i press play it's going to drain this water first and then now then it will spin then i'll show you how clean they are i hope now we have understood the whole concept for the whites i wash three times for the other ones one time is just fine it's okay so so now it's just rinsing and spinning like it would with the other clothes and then now i get it out and then we see how many units we've used i cannot tell you how much electricity we've used because as you guys have seen uh, you guys have seen in the videos before i live in an old house this is like a colonial house so they've not the government has not updated the electricity we don't have tokens we use the normal the ones with meters like tambo so i cannot really tell you how much units have used but in the video that i said about crystal olisa she does say how much units she used when she does the laundry but also i've get it with my sister my sister uses like two two units to wash so and she has more family members than i do so she washes a lot of clothes than i do so i guess two units for each wash every i think every wash i think every week i think she washes every week because i wash my clothes once a week now that is because i would love to save on water washing every day is not a necessary thing for me to do all the time because also of baby and this water here he will play with it before i get a pipe to disconnect to put the water outside he will play with the water so i try as much as i can to avoid that also washing your clothes every now and then is a total waste of water so there's no need for that so i wash it once a week and i'm good to go so yeah i will show you the clothes if they are cleaner or not once it's done So this is one of the dirtiest outfits we had i don't know if you guys can see but it has it's clean let me use this part so after soaking them they get cleaner this is one of the trousers that was really dirty super clean the socks that are really dirty they also clean one thing about the washing machine it will wash your whites very well very clean so yeah we are done we're done washing we need to clean the washing machine okay uko image clean but you need to remove this lint filter it has that and wash it and also wipe around the perimeter as you can see it's really dirty so i want to wipe that and then also clean this uh so yeah guys i did finish doing laundry so i've just finished hanging and i've already cleaned the house today it was just basically me showing you how i do my laundry on a basis so i do my laundry once a week that is that is just me i do my laundry once a week it doesn't matter if i have a kid or not it is once a week reason being it saves a lot of water saves a lot of soap and also uh that for all the time when you have a kid around it's not as you can see the drainage is just there so i can keep on washing every time if i don't have a pipe he's going to play with water and that's not what we want at the moment so i totally forgot <laughs> to show you how much units of water it consumed and i can't remember perfectly but i think it takes like i it, I, I don't think it takes up to two units of water to wash because one unit of water is a thousand liters 
think yeah it doesn't take up to it takes maybe a half a unit or not even less than a half a unit i think because yo a thousand liters i don't think i use 500 no no i will try and calculate and then write it down here because i know how much uh according to the level of water that i chose i know the amount of water that i used so i will calculate and see how much but it, it's it's less than it's like a quarter a unit to wash all those outfits plus today i didn't have a lot of outfits to wash so yeah i normally have a lot uh like i did like last week i had a lot so i even washed duvets and all that but i want to do a separate videos on do's on do's and don'ts of a washing machine plus also all you need to know about having a washing machine when you want to buy an automatic machine yeah according to my experience so that is what i do uh, about electricity as i said before i cannot really gauge that but i don't think it consumes a lot of electricity because our bill hasn't even changed that much it's almost still the same it has gone up like maybe with a hundred or yeah kido go to i can't really uh, gauge that but i asked my sister and she said she uses like maybe two two units to wash all of electricity to wash her family clothes and she has like the largest family she has a large family than i do so i don't think it consumes a lot of water the day that i will move out and have a you know a laundry area and have like two cans i will be able to explain that how much electricity it consumes but if you want to know that in detail there's a lady called crystal olisa she has the exact same machine but a different brand but it consumes she explains in detail how much it consumes okay yeah so that's pretty much it it's just something else i've forgotten that i want to explain if you have questions please leave them mm -hmm. leave them come at me the way you want it's fine i don't mind just ask questions i will respond to every question i will respond to every positive and negative comment it doesn't really matter but that is how i do my laundry and so far i love my washing machine i wouldn't trade it for the world i will trade it for maybe a better one one that's iron the one that has steel kind of stuff but so far it's working good for me it's working good so yeah what am i forgetting i feel like there's something i'm supposed to how does it dry the clothes the clothes you can hang them if the weather is good you can hang them for one hour you're good to go in and hang them but if the weather is, sh is shitty as it is right now it takes a little bit of time to dry but it's not something you can't fix with an iron yeah mm, what else what else am i forgetting what else am i forgetting i don't think i'm forgetting any other thing so see you guys in the next video this is going to be interesting i hope it's going to be a sit down i'm going to answer please 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 if you have questions leave them down down in the comment section so that when i'm filming that video of do's and don'ts i can have an idea of what you want me to share and say and talk and tell you about okay mm, so far bye bye i'm closing off this vlog to start another one <laughs> because it is father's day we want to celebrate this father so yeah peace out